Today I want to give a few tips for petroleum reservoir engineering resumes. Now I'm in the reservoir engineering consulting business and so the tips I'm going to give you are primarily uh, for engineers that want to do reservoir engineering consulting or contract work, less so than for full-time employment, but some of the tips could be appropriate. The first thing I like to see on a resume at the top in big letters is your name and your job title. For instance, Kurt Meir, Reservoir Engineering Consultant. So now I know your name and what you consider yourself and what kind of work you're looking for. The next section should be a, a summary paragraph with a few lines telling how, much you, how many years of experience you have, what skills uh, and abilities you have, and where you have done projects, you know, different basins in the United States and different countries. So I can know that. Next section should be your work history. And that should be short, keep it to two pages if possible. And I'd like to see the name of the employer and your job title and the times you worked there. Now I will read, you know, the description, but for instance, if it says Schlumberger, field logging engineer, I know exactly what you did. Uh, or if you have one where it's uh, BP America onshore completion engineer. So I can see the amount of time you have in each of these types of jobs so if they're appropriate for the project I need help with. Another thing is you need to list at the bottom your software skills. So this is very important and you have to give some indication of your proficiency because sometimes I need, I don't have time to train you in different software. So I need to know if you're a beginner or an expert. Another thing that you should add is you should list any software that you have access to or your own, you know, license or have access to, access to economic software or log analysis software. It's very important if I'm trying to find somebody to help me with a project. And then you should also, in these times where we're doing a lot of remote work, you need to list your computer uh, capabilities, your uh, hardware. For instance, all, I recommend all reservoir engineering consultants have, you know, laptop, I mean, a desktop computer with two large screens and high-speed internet access. Because if I have to give you a computer or a laptop, that's going to come into play when I'm trying to pick people for the project. And then uh, the last thing, you should list your educational credentials. I've seen it in different places, but I think education should be at the end. And eventually, if I bring you in to help me, help you, help me with the project, I'm going to need to see some references. So I have to make sure you know about your work ethic and your ability to get uh, projects out on time. So you will have to be able to provide them later. So I hope these tips were helpful, primarily for reservoir engineering consultants but maybe for some full-time job seekers also. And uh, hopefully one day I'll see your resume and we'll do uh, an interesting consulting project together. So thanks for watching.